Hello YouTube and welcome to part 4. Today we're just going to be manipulating some labels and I'm going to show you how to change around some text colors and different attributes. So first just go into your main page .xaml CS, and we're going to change the name of our first uh, item to label examples and then you can put whatever description I'm just going to put some label examples then we're only going to be working in the labels .xaml CS and .xaml so under the regular XAML create a stack layout with the orientation of vertical and then create five different labels alright then just change the text to two if I can type 4 and 5. Now go ahead and just run this on your emulator. Now here in the app you can see that the label examples is now showing with the description. Go ahead and click on that. Now we have 1 through 5. Now we're going to go back in here, stop it from running. Now what we're going to do is just go into the XAML and we're just going to change some different things. So first we'll change this text to color. Actually we'll change it to different colors. Now to change the color of the text it is text color and you can type in blue, green, we'll go with purple and we can go ahead and actually run this before we get into something else. My project's running. Alright. Now our text color is now purple. Go back in here. Stop. Now to change the background color, it's as simple as background color. And same way, we'll change that to a gray. Go ahead and run it again. Now the background is now gray. Some different things you can do is change the font size. We'll change this to font size. And it's as simple as font size equals, we'll put 25. Go ahead, run the project again. Project's running. There we go. Go ahead, stop it. Now something else you can do with these labels is you can actually add a margin to them which will be on all four sides. So type in margin and we'll go with we'll go with 25 also for this one. And this is going to add spacing to each side inside our project. There we go. Now there's 25 padding or margin on each side. Padding does not work for this. You actually have to use margin. Something else we can do with the labels is also add font attributes. Simple as font attributes. And we can make it italic or actually bold if you wanted to. We can go ahead and actually run this as well. Inside the project, four. Or we can actually change uh, these two text. Change that to the margin. And we'll change this to italic. Now say you want to change the alignment of the text. That would be the horizontal text alignment. Now you, can, you have three different options. Start, which is left, center, center, and end, which is the left. So we're just going to go with end. We're going to go with left, justified. Go ahead and run it again. And there we go text is now left justified. Now another thing that you can do with the text size, instead of actually using a number for it, we can actually just type large or small. So we go ahead and make the last one large. I actually lied, it's not text size, it's actually font size. If you did run it, it will give you an error. Just break it and get back to the original and stop the project. Change the font size and now it should be fine.
And there we go. It's now large. That's it for this part. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.